George, you said at the weekend that come Monday it will be business as usual, um, but has there been an extra spring in the players' steps this week so far because of a win on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, boys feel better when they win, absolutely. But I think we've we've had a pragmatic approach to it, like I said we would. You know, we've, we've come back in and, um, you know, everyone obviously would have had a brighter weekend, but we just got on to focusing on what we could have done better, which there was plenty of, and um, and getting ready to prepare to play to Wasps. Obviously, there were plenty of, of things to, to work on, but how much does that just sort of help and make the learning process a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable, maybe? Because you know, they can see the end result is, you know, is there for them. Yeah, I think, you know... Um, when you play really well and you win, that's great. But I think if you sometimes you, you've got to win a game ugly, and that you know definitely was ugly on the weekend. But the boys found a way through some tricky spots. You know, a poor start for us, but we managed to regroup and, and build back into the game. And then Worcester applied a good bit of pressure there in the second half. But again, the boys just rolled their sleeves up, did what was necessary. Um, and as I say, it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't pretty by any means. But sometimes you just got to find a way. So. I think that's great for the group that they could do that and, um, you know, sort of rode the hard times and, and took advantage of the, the scrappy bits where we could capitalise. You've got a couple of home wins under your belt now. Is the next step to go and, uh, win, and win away? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I've said before, we, we want to win every game. We always approach every game, you know, home or away. It doesn't really matter that we want to try and win it, but... Um, it's, it's more important to us that we, we keep building the processes we're putting in place more than anything. And like I say, there, there was loads on the weekend we didn't get right. Um, but, you know, I think if we can get half, half of what we didn't get right right on the weekend, we, we put ourselves in a good position to beat anybody. And you face a Wasps team who not only did you beat earlier in the season, but they've lost at home to London Irish as well. So, you know, presumably they'll be pretty angry as a sort of as an opponent this weekend yeah I mean Wasps have, have had uh, sort of varied form throughout the league but they're a quality side they, they were in the final you know at the end of last season and, and they played some great rugby so they're more than capable of doing that you know we, we know exactly what it's like to fall the wrong side of some games where it would have been very different you know a couple of moments in in the game and you'd win so um, I don't think the fact that they've lost a, a few games recently really bears too much with us. I think we, you know, we've got full respect for them and we've done our homework and like I say, we've got so much we can improve as a group that really the focus is, is on us as it has been the last few weeks. What's the situation with your international players this weekend, George? Um, well, Johnny's not available obviously because of the, the England ruling, but um, the other lads will be available for selection, yeah. And looking at the impact that they made against Bristol how good is it to have them back and to sort of you know sort of hope that they can give you an, another boost going in, into this yeah we, we've always got a balance who, who's fit and, and how much rugby people have played and and also you know the, the guys who it's great when they come back from camps and and hope you hope they bring back some some energy and um they've missed being in the place but the guys who've been playing and representing the club have been doing a great job so it's not as simple as people come back and they get their shirts back. You know, they, they've got to come back and be in better form than the guys who are playing. So I'm really pleased with the lads who are playing for us week in, week out at the moment. And as you say, when, when they come back from international camp, it's great if they bring energy and if they make the team, that's brilliant. But um, the guys who have who've been doing it while they've been away have been doing such a good job that it's not, it's not always as simple as that. And you talk about players playing week in, week out at the moment. It has been that because, you know, you look at your injury list, 14 players, that's virtually a full side out injured. So I guess just to have those extra options must be good as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, we've, we've fulfilled every fixture this year and, and with that, um, you know, comes more bangs than maybe other teams have suffered and, and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. We've worked through numerous different injuries and fitness issues and, and things like that this year. And, um, you know, we'll continue to do that, but that's the sport at the end of the day. It's, it's a rough game and um, players will come in, you know, on and off that injury list and you just hope there's more off than on. club did quite a lot of business or announced quite a lot of business last week in terms of new contracts. How important is that retention process as an ongoing thing? Because obviously, you know, talk's going on behind the scenes all the time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we're, um, you know we've, we've said we're, we're trying to build a squad and, um, you know, there's some good young players here that, 
are, are getting some exposure now and it's important that we, we don't want to be doing what we've done for the last period where I think we said last week you know that you could name a pretty good 15 who um, have left Gloucester in recent years and are still of a good age profile and that sort of thing so I don't I don't think you know we don't want to go down the route that we develop these players and um, and they go off somewhere else we want them to love being here we want them to buy into what we're trying to achieve and um, give back to them and make them the best players we can so it's great when lads uh, decide this is where they want to spend the next few years and hopefully that will continue on into the future. And the likes of Jamal Ford Robinson and Geordie Reid, are they of a right age where if you like, their best years are still yet to come but they've got a decent amount of experience at the moment? Yeah, I think so. You, you've got to have a balance in the squad obviously of, um, you know, it's great getting the young guys out there and obviously we've got to focus on that and continue, we'll continue to do that. But yeah, you do, you know, you do need your experienced players and you do, you do need um, a certain age profile. You just get some miles on the clock and a bit of street smarts and all that. And I think Jamal and Geordie fit the bill for that. They, they've been around the block. You know, they've um, played at a few different clubs and let's say they're, they're streetwise and, and they want to stay here, which is, which is great.